welcome to this lecture. Today, we are going to deal with these topics little quickly but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always, I will be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples when necessary. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to My Lean University, which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. As we come from different business sectors, it can be quite hard to come up with the common example. But to make it more holistic, I have taken an example which could address most of the manufacturing and service related problems. Let's suppose our project title is A3 Analysis for the low sales of the product A in the first quarter of some year. It could be any year. We can even come up with our own title based on our industry. Let's come up with some examples of the title. If it's industry related, the title could be A3 Analysis for the problem identification and improvement in the manufacture of some product. If it's business related, the title could be A3 Analysis of the sales of certain product in the first quarter. If it is service related, A3 Analysis of a service for Department X. The title could be anything for which we are thinking of making any improvements. Let me bring you to the left hand side where we write different sorts of information to make the improvement. It could be the information on the organizations and departments, team members and different stakeholders. Suppose we already have this information. Let us fill the information in the plan phase of the A3 analysis. We will be following the PDCA format or the plan to check and act in filling up the information in the A3 analysis document. The PDCA cycle incorporates all the 8 stages of the A3 analysis. So in the plan phase of the A3, we have the 5 steps. We have background screening and problem clarification. We have current condition screening and breaking down of the problem. And we set the target. We then analyze the root causes of the problem and develop the countermeasures in the plan phase. So basically, what you see here is, we are planning about everything to find enough about the information of the problem. A good planning is everything in any improvement project. So let's recall our problem. For this, let's look into the title statement again. The title is A3 analysis for the low sales of the product A in the first quarter of the year 2021. Well, let's clarify the problem. This is the first step where we can do the background screening or problem clarification. We should make sure that every people understand what is or what isn't within the scope of the A3 analysis or what is our problem. There are various approaches of the problem clarification. Let us use one of the important tool is and is not analysis. So what is the scope of our problem? The following A3 analysis report talks about the root cause analysis and solving problem related to the low sales of the product in the first quarter of 2021 and sustaining the changes. So let us make the bullet points of this one. Low sales of the product A and the first quarter of 2021 are inside the scope of this A3 project. What isn't inside our scope? Our A3 analysis doesn't hold into account any other products and one in the first quarter of the year is taken for the improvement project. So with this, we make sure to our readers what exactly they are going to be gaining with this A3 report. Okay, we can also make the problem statement for the A3 analysis. For this, we can write the problem statement using the 5W1S way or using the WH words like what, what is the problem that you are going to deal with, why, why is it important to solve the problem, when, when does the problem occur, where, where does this problem occur, and where does this affect, and who, who does the current problem affect the most. So let's elaborate the problem and make the problem statement. What is the problem we are going to deal with? Suppose the problem is about the low sales of the product. Why is it important to solve the problem? 
because it is the major product to generate the revenue. When does this problem occur? Well, this problem occurred in the first quarter of 2021. Where does this problem occur and who does it affect? This problem occurred in the sales niche in the California and it, this is the major sales region for the product and it is affecting the entire company. Who does the problem affect the most? Of course, the entire company. And if you are sure, we can even include the word how, how does the problem occur? But this time, let us not use this question. So based on the WH problem statement alone, we can write our problem statement with the A3 analysis. The purpose of the A3 analysis or this document is to find out the factors involved in the low sales of product A in first quarter of 2021 in California. And this is affecting the entire company. And we are also finding the solutions and sustaining the improvements so that no such problems get repeated in the future. Isn't that a wonderful problem statement? Let's move to our second part of the plan phase or the A3 analysis or the second step of the analysis where we screen the current condition or we break down the problem. So what we can do in this section is present some groups of figures to understand the present problem scenario. If you are from the manufacturing based business, you can even draw the short current process flow chart if it's the problem with the process flow or a short representation of the SIPOC matrix. But as I am trying to make my A3 report simpler, I will just go with the bar diagram. So here I have the sales data for the four quarters of 2020 and first quarter of 2021, which clearly shows that sales have declined. I can also denote it the other way. I can denote the percentage sales in the California region in the five quarters. The graph shows that my sales have definitely decreased by more than 50% in the California region, mostly in the first quarter. So we have clarified the problem more by bringing up some pictures here. Let's head into the third stage where we will set a target of the improvement we wish to achieve. Note that the target should not be a random target. It should be smart, like we said the smart goal. This should be the smart target, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, tangible, and timely target. Let's set our target with the SMART acronym. The project is targeted to make an improvement in S or let's be specific, sales of the product in the California region, M or measurable by at least 50%, A or attainable considering all the improvements, and R or realistic target with time, job allocation and resources available to the team members mentioned in top of the A3 report. The team members will be listed around here at the top and T till the end of certain date. So we have made a smart target which is specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and timely. Let us move to another section or the root cause analysis section or the gap analysis section. Suppose we draw a fishbone diagram for the causes of the problem. As this problem is non-manufacturing one, we can use the 8P or even the 5S fishbone for this case. For the manufacturing based problems, we can go with the 6M or 8M fishbone. Suppose we identified potential problems in the procedures, policies, place, product, people, process, price and promotion. Let me enlarge this one. Suppose for the procedures, we found that the problem is our sales agent having to go to various procedures of quality checking before the particular product comes into the market as a, it's the health supplement. So suppose we have to wait for the state approval for policy. The policy of California suppose says that we cannot advertise the product as a health supplement in any medical journal. Uh, this is not the actual scenario. We are just supposing it here. For place, suppose our distribution center is out of the main city area so people do not get to this place easily. So only online purchase or order is available for now. For product, suppose the competitor came up with the similar product but with the bonus offer. For people, suppose our sales force 
have decreased from 10 people to 7 and two of them are newly recruited so they haven't done the proper sales training also for price suppose the price of competitor product is five dollar less so it seems like there are obviously different factors accounting for low sales of the product and one or several of these regions could be responsible for the low sales sometimes the combination of all these factors are accountable for the low sales if we have data or figures for the actual problem we can even funnel down the problem using the pareto analysis in this case i just use the pareto analysis we know that pareto analysis can be used to find top 20 percent of the causes but for this we need data we apply the pareto analysis when we know the sales figure there are many other tools which we can use but i cannot show them all here we can use the various tools like five whys or cause and effect matrix according to our need and ease of the situation okay that being said let's move to the fifth stage of the a3 analysis which is developing the countermeasures for this we have to brainstorm and look for the various other options. We can make the action plans with the list of unnecessary actions and mention the name, who is responsible for the action, when the action should be taken or finished, and what is the status of that action. Suppose some solutions are identified from the brainstorming session and the action plan is made. And it is shown in the A3 analysis worksheet. The responsible people and the target date and status are also given over here so we have an action plan sheet now this sheet is updated as the action progresses the sixth stage is implementing the countermeasures this is the do phase of the pdca or plan do check and act cycle now this is purely an action oriented process you can update the final process diagram such as improved value stream map you can simply attach the picture on this page but for the particular example, I would just write what improvements we have made. The seventh stage is for monitoring the results and processes. You can update the final process diagram such as improved value stream map. If you have improved your process in case of the manufacturing based business or you can also show any improved product. You can include the control chart also to show how your process has improved for example for the manufacturing based business you can show how your defect has reduced the whole reason of walking through this a3 phase is just to make sure that we have really made any profitable progress with the project we can improve on anything that we have worked on for instance i have included here the improved process and compared before and after improvements scenarios Having said that, we have reached the final part of the ACT phase. ACT is where we have to sustain the improvements that we made. We have to standardize the improved process. For example, in the manufacturing based projects, we can standardize the new specifications or we can change the document according to our improved plan or we can give new trainings or we can just write how we can improve the training frequency. In our case, three actions have been recommended so with all this we have concluded the a3 improvement document there are also other parts of the improvement project such as final signature and group meetings after the document is completed to communicate the findings of the improvement projects to all the stakeholders i think this example will be helpful to you in finding out how a3 could be helpful be it manufacturing or service-based business if you haven't downloaded the A3 template yet, I highly encourage you to download that from the resource section. Thank you so much for being with me in this lecture as well. Before ending this lecture, let me remind you to join my Lean University's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for a limited time inside my Lean University's online library and get tons of free courses, free books, and lecture topics on project management, Lean and Six Sigma, operations and supply chain, productive and preventive maintenance, quality maintenance, data science, industry and sales management, Agile and Scrum, Kaizen or continuous improvement, and much more totally free. No strings attached. As we have limited seats, only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership 
and remember it's totally free please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all